Hello everybody, hello. This is Paul here. I wanted to share this game with you. This is a game called Hand of Fate, which you can find on Steam. Uh, it was very kindly donated to me by Vorton, so thank you very much, and I have been addicted to it ever since. I didn't think it would make a very interesting stream because it's so... Uh, it's not really visually stimulating, but the story in it is so wonderful. So what's going on here, from what I can tell, is this guy is the dealer, and you and him are playing a little adventure card game, like your own little personal D&D &D in the afterlife. Which it appears to be. Uh, the dealer... he's very mysterious. Not sure, and his voice really reminds me of the guy, the narrator from the Stanley Parable. And I looked it up to see if it was the same guy, but I, I, I don't think it is. But let's get right into it. It you just you gotta kind of see it. To see. Are so I've moved a little bit into story mode here, and all of these cards have are signifiers of where I've already been, and these signify kind of the bosses that I've worked on. And right now I'm on the Queen of Plagues. And there are all these curse cards, and every time you do a challenge, you get tokens which unlock more cards for better or for worse. Queen but it definitely mixes up the, 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 the whole will system. Not be the one to bury her. Now I'm playing on hard mode because I, I was playing on regular mode, and it was just a little bit too easy. And once you, once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad. But these are all the cards I have, and these are all the cards that are in play. So I can real easy put in stuff that I want. Now, it's no guarantee I'll get it when the rolls come up, but it's it's handy to know that they're available. But everything should be pretty good. So there are weapons and there are armors that you kind of pick up, but you start off with sort of a base set, you know? And it gets a little bit better as you go along. Now, I played this one once, and I died in most amusing fashion, which made me decide I need to record this to show you guys. So he's kind of showing me the new cards that are going to be in this little game. And, yeah, it's like D&D &D adventure style. A lot of it is kind of luck and dice rolls, but then there's also action RPG elements, where you take control of a character and Did just beat the shit to death. to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Alright, so... I am different. So this My is the room. Are genuine. Shut up. So this is the room we're dealt with to start with. There's usually anywhere between five to ten rooms as you go. So you got to find the stairs down. You have to watch your food supply in the left-hand corner. You have to watch your health, of course, gold. It's really in depth. So let's 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 do it. Let's go. Now the Holy Forge, you have to come back to when you have an appropriate item, and sometimes it means backtracking through like eight different rooms, which for sometimes, because every time you move it takes a piece of food away, is sometimes not really worth it. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. On a dusty, lonely plain, you come across the shattered remains of an old monastery. Searching the building, you meet an old man dressed in dirty robes. Long ago, we of the Brotherhood forged holy weapons to support the war against the infidels, but the infidels were strong, and one day, one of their raiding parties took us by surprise. They destroyed most of our tools and took all supplies, including all of the rare metal ore that we used to craft our weapons. The king's army never returned after that day. I know not what became of them in the years that followed. I have stayed here all these years, but one of the ghosts remains to keep me company. All of the others who survived the attack left long ago. All I can do now is leave because I don't have the ore we need, but if we find it, we can come back here and get some pretty boss weapons to help us out. So, that's all we can do. We'll see if we get lucky. Oh, good, we did get lucky, so the maze of traps is fun. Let's do it, we found a goblin tre treasure cave, let's go! So this is where the action RPG takes place. There's no actual battles, but you do have to be kind of wily and dodge traps, which I am really, really bad at. So you get to see me, and then all of my equipment flies on. I got medium armor going, warlord helm shield and just an axe not a lot to start with really but I do have the ring of hindsight which I forgot what that does all right so here we go so you can move around and dodge roll which you do mostly through this so dodge roll do ow, dodge roll do I yeah I'm usually a lot better at this guys I really am 
That's a lie. I'm really bad at everything. You get health back as you go along the main path as long as you have food. So it's not that- oh! Not that big a deal. Nope! Uh, Alright, well at least I made it to the end. I lost half my health, but I made it. Now health is really important because when you get into battles, I mean I'm pretty good at it, but your health is gonna drain really fast if you get outnumbered. So let's see, we I'm got sure some you are grateful for that. gold. Um, some equipment, nice. Life's limb. I like this one. Then finish them. So I can inflict curses with this. Do you want to equip it? Fuck yeah. Are you sure that's the right approach? He always second guesses you and makes you think you're making the wrong decision. Oh, good. Uh, Undead Bane is good for skeletons. Uh, the healing cap, I, I can't remember. Any healing I receive is doubled, which is great. And the scavenger's cap, I get 50% extra food, which is really handy. Because if you have to buy food, it's super expensive. But I'm going to go for the healing cap right now. Okay, we're just going to equip that. You get the Warlord Helm for playing on hard or Warlord mode, but I'm not sure what it does. It just says it increases your will to succeed, but I don't know what that means. Alright, we're back at the Holy Forge and blah blah blah. Now, every time you move, you, you get... If you have food, you gain 10 health back. But I think if you starve, you actually lose health as you go. Calling of the rat men. I've landed on this a couple of times. Are they not? Pushed back and forth by the whims of nobility or power. All the lands in the kingdom are being overrun with rat men. They are bastards, those rat men. They always hang up and you know, like gangs of nine or more. Merchants in my lands are being attacked on the road, as are any travelers such as yourself. If you have 50 gold, you can basically, I guess, wipe them out or at least bring their numbers down, but I've never had 50 gold when I talked to the guy, so, sorry. And that guy, the, that was a token I could have earned if I had 50 gold. And the token of what give you cards. So tokens are probably the most important things. And thanks to my cap of healing, I'm back to full health already. Oh, Mr. Lionel, he's a good one. He gives me stuff. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he happens to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human, though I do love his mustache. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. Now, all of these do different things, but... Uh, getting the bread from my plate and ask him what he needs. Sometimes he'll give you shield, sometimes he'll give you gold. I don't even know. But last time I gave him bread from my plate, I got a shitload of money. And if I do that, I'm right next to the guy who can get rid of all the rat men. So, worth a try. He considers the bread seriously before placing it carefully in his coat pocket, seemingly satisfied. Then he sits considering you for a while, before slapping the table with his hand. Ah! I know what you need! Master Lionel taps the table with his staff and some plump cakes appear in front of you. Remember, boy, when someone asks whether you like a cake or a pie, tell him you want cake and pie! Alright, so I just get a food card for that. Great, so I got a food for doing that. That was not great. Before you can stop him with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints out the tavern door. Didn't work out well. So this is the last card in the room, so this must be the exit card. Yeah, the ladder escape. Usually the dealer is much more talkative than that, and he'll actually strike up, well, um, an admittedly a one-sided conversation with you, but it's... he's wonderful. I love him so. The Apprentice. Of course, mages have their own rules. Power, mostly. One day you happen upon a young wizard practicing his magic in the forest. He greets you in a friendly manner and beckons you closer. I can... Well, okay, so it looks like he will transport you for either 15 gold or 5 food. And there's a token floating in the air. Now, last time I declined because it's like, you know what? I, I want to be able to go all the way through. But I didn't earn a token, you put it away, like I failed, so let's go ahead and give him my five food for it, even though I'm kind of low, and see what happens. You hand over the five food and the wizard prepares himself for casting. The card's token is now yours. I guess it's kind of risky. 
the young wizard waves his wand, saying, Don't worry, I'm almost always successful in transporting myself to other places. Luggage is a little trickier. After arriving at your destination, I it continue on my journey. You can cool. take it. Thank you. So it just cost me a shitload of food. Heart, all games are about power, are they not? Yes. The acquiring of power. The retaining of power. And most importantly, the use of power. I don't have any money, so I'm going to pass by the healer, plus I don't really need healing, but you can buy other stuff. What's this? Oh. This is cool, so it lands on a map. Okay. Now this cursed gambler over there on the right-hand side is the worst. Um, but oddly enough, I don't see any stairs down, unless this are the, this are the stairs? These are the stairs. The goblins are cool. They will steal all of your stuff and you have to beat the crap out of them and get it back, plus a little bit more. An Embertown hero puts you on a fetch quest of some sort for, uh, I think a weapon normally. So it's weird. I guess this is like my boon for this one. I can sort of see what's left over before I exit a level. But since I'm here, onwards and onwards, since I've already failed this level once before. Now it is all completely random because it's all dice rolls and cards. But, so e each adventure is brand new, depend- not- Aw, oh, fuck, the Cursed Gambler, I'm always bad at this. Alright, let me show you what the chance system is all about. In an old tavern at the edge of the dark forest, you meet a gambler. Care to try your luck? He asks with a wicked gleam in his eye. And you know, you've- you've been- you- you gotta- you gotta accept it. He grins diabolically as you sit down, making you uneasy. The stakes are this. If you win, I give you something from my collection of magical items. If I win, then I curse you instead. I've only won against him once, and you'll see why in a second. So this is what happens. So you get three failure cards and a success card. Oops, oh, I wasn't paying attention. From these options. I think it's this one. It does, it's not a completely random, so you can follow the card. So I think it's this one. Nope, failure, that's a curse. You play poorly, the man says. Since you've been such a good sport, so I'll let you choose the curse. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Tainted. Uh, I cannot sell anything. Ah, that is one of my favorites. And then dealer spite. Well, whenever you select a huge chance card, you must also draw a pain card. Me actually landing on huge success is pretty low, so I'm gonna go with dealer spite. Go ahead. I'd rather I be able to sell long stuff. Long and hard to make that particularly painful. Ingenious, Dang. don't you think? So apparently he's actually designed this game. He made the game. But why we're playing it, I don't know. It's almost like he says you're reliving your memories, but when you were alive? So this is some kind of weird... This is your chess game with death, I guess. Would you like to play another round? Uh... You know what? I've always given up at the end. Let's go ahead and try it. Excellent. Maybe it'll give me one, no, but it's still one success. All right, here we go. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. I think it's this one again. Damn it! Ah. All right, I'm cursed again. Blunted aura. Attacks. I hope that is the curse that ends your quest. He usually is like all proud of me that I've gotten this far, but now he's like, no, you've gotten a little bit too far. Fuck you. Weak ankles. Run speed is reduced by 25%. Your ingenuity. Fine. Look forward to seeing how you approach this particular challenge. Uh, damn it. All right, that went really badly. I might fail this round, too. All right, here's a shop. Your food runs short. This does not bode well. All right, I, I'm, I'm going to have to go to the shop and maybe sell some of the things I have so I can buy more food. Because if I don't have any food, I am stuffed. Not literally stuffed, like I can't eat food and get stuffed, but stuffed as in completely screwed. Alright, sell items. What can I sell? Well, I'm wearing a different helm, so I can sell that for seven bucks. I'm using a sword, so I can sell my axe for a couple of bucks. Medium armor. I'm using all of this stuff. You cannot go without a shield. That is super important. So now I have ten gold, so I can buy some food. I can buy two foods, which won't get me far, but that's all I got. Alright, bye. Shit, this is not going well at all. I wanted to show off on this one, because I'm usually very good at this. So that's why I put it on hard mode. Fuck, an ambush. 
All right, this is like your normal encounter, like a random encounter. So two of dust, and oh, no, not the jack. The jack of skulls was an old boss, and the two of dust means I'm fighting two bandits, or the equivalent of two bandits. But having the jack of skulls in there is going to be a real wild card, especially with my crippling disability to run. All right, let's do it. Let's see what the combat's all about. It's kind of like an Arkham Asylum kind of thing. If they flash green, you counter. If you flash red, I don't think you can do anything but I'll have to decide to get out of the way. Alright, Jack. Die. I gotta get rid of this Jack first. Whoop, 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 he's gonna do something. Alright, these projectile guys have gotta go. I hate them so much. Ugh. And you can build up your combo, which gives you greater and greater attacks, but... Oh, I think the Jack of Skulls can heal his people. Alright, there you go. Jack of Skulls is down, so now I can concentrate on these freaking riflemen. I hate them so much. Because I don't think you can deflect the those with your shield. There he goes. Oh, right next to you is little bandit buddy. Sorry. Oh, I forgot I can use the special the special thing on my sword, and I didn't. Oh no, while searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is only pretending to be dead. Alright, yeah, fortunately this time you only have one chance at failure. But if you fail, it's big. Fuck! Oh no! Taken by surprise, you're knocked to the ground. When you recover, you find yourself alone with the dead. Which means I don't get anything for that battle. Nothing. God damn it, this is the worst hand I've ever been playing. The Lich. There oh! There are so many ways to hang on to just one more moment of life. But at what price? So, in the last hand, I entered this cave called the Summoning, and I cleared everybody out, but apparently the Summoning already happened, and so I ran out, and then I got the Lich card. Liches are known in legend for the greatest of the undead, only the most powerful full holy wizards attempt to summon one. Oh, uh, she can also consume other enemies in order to restore health. A challenge for you. Oh no. And a token if you succeed. All right, this is for a token. Attack the lich. Let's go. Hopefully my sword curse thing will be effect. I don't know. All right, plus I've got four skeletons to deal with or at least some equivalent thereof. Oh god, he's huge. She's huge. Not liking this at all. Alright, here we go, into the fray. Alright, so, so far I'm doing a pretty good job of dodging the yeah, dodging? Dodging the Lich's attacks. But I wanna ow! Oh, I wanna I need to get these skeletons out of here before I do anything. Oh. Oh, you see that dodge? You see that? Ugh. Okay. Ow! Alright, now the Lich is mine. I don't think I can curse her. Oh god, I'm so about to die. And I gotta keep these skeletons down because she can heal with them. Oh god, I'm dead! No! <laughs> I never die! The one time I want to record a game session to show you how cool it is, I die! No one will mourn you here. Another of my servants fulfills his duties. You have earned your prize today. Yet I still get the tokens, which is nice. Oh, now I get surprise portals. Okay, let's pretend that never happened. Challenges become even more difficult from here. All right, I can do this. Okay, so whenever oh, so it looks like whenever I shake a curse, I lose one random item. Item. So then let's see, I got uh, six rat man. I got four of those, and then all those cursed gambler cards, which I she fucking hate. Patient, but ultimately destructive. So she's the queen of the rat people. I haven't reached the kings yet, but the jacks were hard enough. 
Alright, Warlords and Gains, Good Fortune cards. Eight of Plagues, that's awful. Crippling Injuries, wonderful. Negative R, that's mine. Uh, cursed Gamblers. Lots of Rat cards. There's the Healers and the Mages. Do you understand what it is we do now? Oh, that's why I, I was having so much wounds. trouble. The difficulty of picking a successful chance card is increased. Bad. Okay. So, that's why I'm getting all these failures. I'm actually, I'm literally cursed. Alright, let's make our way. Oh, good! The Metal Ore, the first one. This is what I need for the, that, uh, the, for that awesome weapon we, we've landed on the first time. So, we're off to a good start this time. So, gonna go climb down and take a look. Into the gloom of the narrow canyon, you find the old remains of a wooden cart. Apparently, having fallen down years ago. You find nothing of worth except a chunk of glittering metallic ore. Might not sell too much, but blah blah blah. So that's what I need when I reach that forge. Alright, culling of the rat man, it's He's useless because I you. don't have Remember. any money. Sorry, Remember man, you can put that token right on back. Sorry, I got no cash. And of course, right after the culling of the rat man, I got to deal with a rat man hunting party, but it's only a four. Which is doable, but I don't have all my cool swords and stuff from my last playthrough. I'm back to square one. Oh, and close quarters, too. You just gotta- whenever something green comes up, just mash that- That, uh, counter button. So far, so good. They can also launch themselves at you, which is- God! These projectile ones are the worst! I hate them so much! Die! There we go, but you can deflect them back if your timing is good. There we go, that should do it. Boom! And ragdoll little mousy. Alright, but I should at least get some food for my troubles out of this. Alright, search among the bodies, finding nothing. Nope, the rat man have nothing. Let's go this way. Uh, oh, the maiden! Oh, that's a good one. I actually want to go back and land on that. Let's go take it. All right, let's stay here. Companion. Stay here. We'll go I'm to the sure maiden because she gives us time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. All right, here we go. One day in the shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the forest folk. My people have long held mottos of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Okay, so I can ask for a blessing, which really helps. Longer life gives me more HP, supplies is food, and then gold, of course, is gold, but I'm gonna ask for a blessing, just to counteract all these awful curses I have. Alright, here we go. Retribution. Whenever a player is struck by a ranged attack, there will be a chance the attack will be stunned for three seconds. Good! Good, that'll give them a little bit of payback for all the times they'll hit me with arrows and rocks and shit. Bold heroes made for great ballads, but survivors think twice before meddling in the fears of gods and monsters. Thanks for the words of warning, lady! Alright, that cost me, like, five food to get back to it. But now, we can continue on the next leg of our journey. Certainly. Oh god, this room is huge. There's gonna be some backtracking on this one. A traveling tinker. But again, I have no money, so... Goodbye. Alright, let's find the stairs out of here, and hopefully something good... Nope, not the cursed gambler. But I think I can just decline him. But he still oh, he steals five food if I do that. Oh, no! That is a curse. Oh, no, the Devil's Carnival. Why am I having the worst luck? Uh, Devil's Carnival, you can get stuck in for, like, days. You just lose food, lose everything. One day, as dusk gathers, you reach a large count country town hosting a traveling circus. Strange sights and stranger smells confront you as you begin to wander between tents and stalls that were once brightly colored and are now faded and stained with dust. Peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys past wonders and amazements seeming almost dazed. There is something about this place that dulls your senses and for a while you forget your quest, even forget the path that brought you to this place. Alright, so we got two success cards and two failure cards. To continue on, or you get to you get stuck in the Devil's Carnival forever. Okay, a mild success. I'll take it. So I mean, I think huge success. You like find something, or someone gives you something. But I can at least move forward. And I think I have to do this at least twice. Okay, follow the cards. Follow the cards. I think this is huge success. That's regular success. I'll take it. Good. The ringing of bells heralds the approach of a jester. He raises a stick with a small jester head on the top and uses it to engage you in a mock sword fight. 
He then pretends to be killed by you, making an opportunity to dramatic, a dramatic death scene. The crowd boos at you and begin to throw food. Oh, you salvage what you can for the mess. I get some food cards. One food, but whatever. Sometime later, you find yourself standing at the edge of the forest. The sounds of the crowds behind you. Day is just dawning, but which day? Looking back, you see the ruined buildings of a country town long ago abandoned. Oh, I didn't get the token! Man, I got two success cards in a row! I guess you have to get, like, maybe two huge successes to pass, but... Whatever, that's actually the quickest I've ever made it through the Devil's Carnival. I'm happy for that. Oh, we have the stairs. Cursed Gambler, Holy Forge is over there. We gotta go to that. We only have four food, though. And there's a treasure chest up there, and also the Lich. Alright, there's way too much here to pass up. So let's not One take the stairs. Step down, and we may see the end of this. Or yeah. another set of yeah. stairs. There's always more stairs. Always more stairs. Alright, so we'll pass this by. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Don't need the traveling tinker. Pass it by. Alright, Holy Forge. This is what we want. Perfect. And that was the last of my food. I hope I find some soon. And then I think we're with our new weapon, we're gonna get that treasure chest, and then we're gonna fight the Lich. Alright, here we go. So now I can give him the sample of my ore. <gasps> the monk's eyes widen in surprise. He exclaims, By the old gods! Where did you find that? He looks the metal over carefully. If you're willing to put in the hard work, stranger, we could fire up the old forge one last time. You spend several days with the old monk. By day, you toil together in this forge. By night, you swap tales of your adventures and share his food. Eventually, you hold the completed weapon in your hands. A battle hammer, 40 damage, and it's wholly good, so it's perfect against undead. This is amazing. String together consecutive attacks do massive damage. Press L1 to unleash a powerful explosion. This is wonderful. Yes, this will help me immensely. Thank you, warrior, for giving this old relic one last chance to prove its worth. Good luck on your journey. All right, let's take the treasure chest. What's oh, and I'm losing. Way to go. I do hope you find something to eat soon. Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. While exploring a dungeon, you see a treasure chest at the end of the hall. Approach it. Two success, two failure. Okay, keep your eye on the birdie. I think it's this one. Fuck! Well, no, what happens? You move carefully, you suddenly hear a click. Oh shit, I set off a trap. Gas trap! Uh, uh, the room. Uh, oh shit, this is a bad idea. I to escape the gas. Oh no, one success card! Uh. A choice. I think it's this one. Select your desire. Please! Damn it! At least it's not a huge failure. You make your way through the clouds, coughing up some dangerous gas. One pain card. 15 max How health unpleasant. gone. That's like one of the worst. I think one, you can actually lose 30% of your max health. Now my max health is 75. But at least I can open the treasure Again, chest. A token is at stake. Oh no! This is such a bad idea. Alright, I tend to pry it open. Okay, only one failure card, so let's watch that one. Up, up, dip, 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 dip. So, successors are gonna be over here. Yes, good, I followed that one. I feel excellent. After a mighty heave, the lock is way and the spoil's yours. Four gain cards. All right, three gold, that's not great. An armory, this is good. Oh, great helm of reinforcement, that's new. There's no strength like hidden strength. Uh, unique item upgrades your class of armor from light to medium or medium to heavy. Um, interesting. I think the healing one might be a little bit more handy. We've already got an awesome hammer. Let's try it. Let's see if it actually helps. Being tougher than you look is a very considerable advantage. 20 gold. All right. Oh, well, I got a lot of money, which is great. But no food. And I get the token. Hooray. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of damage as I make my way back to, uh... The, uh, the tinker or whatever, so I can buy some food. So we might as well... Try... No. Because I'm going to get myself hurt. No, I gotta... I, you gotta do it. You gotta take the maze of traps. You can't just... Can't pass it by sight unseen. There might be food in there. We could save ourselves some money. I'm making a series of really bad decisions. Alright, let's try this maze of traps again. And let's be goddamn careful. My new helmet looks awesome, though. Check that out. Alright, now... I know for a fact that everything in these leaves, those are spring traps. You can't do that one. These spring out from the right, so you dodge from this side. Oh, right into... Oh, man, I didn't even see it. These are devious. Alright, so there's those traps. Okay. 
really carefully. I'm using a really cheap joy pad, so I really hope I don't get screwed. All right, there's nothing on the sides. So roll! All right, looks like we can walk right through this one. There's a bush over there, so roll here. And then there's one over this, so I gotta roll this way. And then roll this way. I don't know why I rolled there. Whoa! All right, we're doing good, we're doing good. Now I can't really see much through this way, so roll! Uh. All right, now we gotta roll over to the s Wait. Uh. Uh. No! Ow! That wasn't so bad, I guess. No. Go, go, go! All right, here's the Oh! Ow! Roll, 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 roll! Yes, I made it! With a little bit of damage, but not... It could have been worse. All right, please give me some food, Mr. Dealer. Help me out. 40 gold, great fortune. Damn, I'm rich! Jesus Christ, I'm so... I'm sure you're grateful for that. ...loaded. All right, a huge hammer. My hammer is better than your huge hammer. Not by much. Oh, it's actually the same thing, so this... Ugh. All right, well, whatever. As pleases you. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my existing hammer. Okay. Now, let's buy some food and maybe some health if I can. Because I am... Loaded! This is actually the most money I've had at any given moment. I bet if I wanted Finally, to... an opportunity to eat. Yeah, no joke. I could probably go back and do that culling of the Ratman thing, but... Whatever. All right. So let's... Let's sell a few things. I can sell... Uh, this huge hammer. Sell that. Sell that. I can sell this axe I'm not using. Which leaves me with a battle hammer and, and all this stuff I actually am using. Okay, good. Let's back up. Let's buy some food. I can buy three food for $11, which is not a great price, but I am desperate. Now, starvation begins. I'm just gonna blow all of my money on food. There we go. One more. Okay, so I don't have to worry about food for a while, but let's see what I can buy. Healer's Ring. A consuming Shame are like, uh, little bonuses you can throw up at the end, at the beginning, rather, of a battle. But I don't have enough money for any of them, because I spent all of my money. It's so like this one here, during combat, press R1 to create a, f a blast of freezing ice centered on the adventure. They're really, really handy. Whenever a player receives hailing, also giving one gold. That's only 17 bucks, so I uh, might as well. Alright, I'll buy that. What will you do with that? Wear it? He's so he second guesses everything. Okay. Yes, I want to leave the shop. Alright, now I'm gonna do something a little bit risky here before I fight the Lich. I'm just gonna kinda wander back and forth a little bit and get my health back. Okay, so I'll fast forward through this part. Now we're good. I'm I've uh, full enough health that it won't really matter. So we're gonna take on the Lich. Are you ready? Of course you are. All right. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Yeah, no joke. This is probably one of them. All right, Lich, you are going down. Please. I would really appreciate it if you went down. All right, now we can make sure we try that new explosion technique. Oh, wow, this one really just mows through the skeletons. Hold still. Gotta be fast before it can heal. Hold still. Ow. Yes! I'm almost dead, but I got him! Her! Oh, suck it, Lich. Back into the whatever you came from. Oh, that looked painful. I better get some good spoils for this, because I am near death. <laughs> oh, good. Alright, I got the token, and I got two gain cards. Alright, not bad. Alright, I get some health back. I More got a health, health potion. Well. Nice. Much good made, dude. And then I get a little bit of my max health back. Not really worth the effort, but hey, what else? Where adventurer, darkness is loosed upon the lands. And I got an achievement for that. All right, now uh, let's not do that. Let's pass it by. And by the time I get to the stairs again, I should be healed up a little better. Traveling tinker. 
Uh, actually, maybe he can heal me. Let's try it. I got a little bit of gold to spare. I hate the fact that I have to say the word despair. As my luck has already been horrible. Uh, no. I can't do that. But I can... Do I have anything to sell? Not really. What can I buy? Life's limb, Hearn's antlers. Scavenger camp for extra food. Ooh. Once per combat. If I had this... Oh, if I hit this, then... Oh, I've always wondered what that did. So now whenever I hit anybody, they drop money. But let's just buy some food and be on our way. Three food for $11. Okay. ka -ching. All right, so we'll save a little bit of our money as we make our way down into the depths and darkness. All right, down we go. Descend ever deeper into the subterranean pit. Even oh, now, God. the brood gathers. All right, maybe this is the last room. It's huge, but let's... All right, traveling jeweler we don't really need because most of my money is already gone, but I still got 20 bucks, which is nice. A traveling mage, okay. Well, that's good. I'm finding all the shops ahead of time. Uh, let's go around this way. The apprentice. Yeah, let's go ahead and give him some... What? What happened? I can't... Nothing happened. Why? Why not? Why couldn't I use the portal? Maybe this is the last one. He can't, he can't transport me any further. Oh, no. The goblins. Goblins. I do love goblins. Truly... I haven't seen their like in years. Excellent. Now, last time this happened, one of the goblins stole my weapon, so I had to beat the, him to death with my bare hands. So hopefully he won't take my weapon. Oh, three of them? I don't think they really attack back, but if you don't kill them quick enough, they'll run away permanently with all of your stuff. Alright, wish me luck. I, I So far, I've been okay with the goblins, but if he takes my weapon, I don't have a backup. I sold my only backup weapon. Okay, I got my weapon. All right, cool. So let's kill them. Fortunately, this this huge ass weapon of mine will help me kill them a little bit faster. So I'm not gonna worry about this one. Oh, he's got my shield. All right, it's only one more left. This hammer is a beast. Die. Oh man, no contest. Give me back my shield, you little prick. My hammer is bigger than I am. And I'm pretty huge. Alright, not bad. I don't get any bonuses for it, but at least I don't lose anything. Ow, well maybe I did... Sorry, hang on. Maybe I did get a little bit back, because I had 20 gold when I went in there, now I have 35. Now, Twisted Cannon is a way to get a weapon. But I always I already have like the best weapon I've ever had, so I'm just gonna leave it so I don't fail it and get myself a permanent injury. Because if you fail, y'all probably get my health docked another 15 points. All right, more rat men. Let's see how the hammer fares against them with my huge blast. Oh, well at least it's not a bunch, but the pl the jack of plagues, not good. That's a big ass rat with a bunch of little rat friends. Here we go. Oh god, oh god, yeah, you can string to you can string together attacks really bad. Oh yeah, he went down not too bad, okay. Ba-boom! Oh, right in the back. Oh, I love that hammer. And you'll see that little cooldown down there, that little yellow bar that's filling up the card. That's how often I can use that little explosion thing. Alright, not bad. I don't get any bonuses for it, but I didn't die. Uh-oh. There she is! I made it! The Queen of Plagues. Even I have waited to see. Majestic. The Queen of Rats have great skill with their spears, accompanied by a totem that spreads their toxic, damaging filth. The Ratman Queen can birth thousands of her fail kind, protecting them with her prodigious spear skills. Great, so she's ranged. Not good, but I think Let's I stake a token on their foolishness. I should get two for this one. No, just one. Usually get two for bosses. Queen rats have great skill with their spears, accompanied by a totem that spreads toxic, damaging filth. Okay, well, I guess that totem should be my first target. 
All right, this is my first time squaring off against her. Let's see. So we got four more plague rats to kill at the same time. All right, this is going to be tricky. All right, let's kill these little rats first. Kill these freaking throwers. Oh, man. That... Alright, kill this other little rat. Oh, yeah, take that one back. Ow! Oh, God, I'm taking damage from something. Kill the totem. Yes! No. Alright, come on, just you and me now. Oh, no! Oh. I wait, did I do it? Did I win? I gotta kill the totem first. Yes. All right, I think I get the token now. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. I got her. That was an easy one as far as these battles go. Yeah, mine. Yes. After th two failures. Black kind will not easily recover from this loss. A million half-orphaned rats will fall upon you like a tide of horror. Why do you still play? Why can't you walk away? Alright, I can't walk away. I'm too deep into it now. So, plundering a locked treasure chest, I received an armory draw two card and a fool's gold ring. Cool. Which will appear in a later draw, I hope. Defeating the lich, I get five cards. Damn. Let's see. A five food card. Max of extortion. I'm not sure what that does. Occult reflection armor. Disciples ring. And this card that says druids. Which I guess is like an encounter of some card. Wow, that was totally worth it. These look like really good cards. And then this is the Queen Rat token, what I get for her. Yeah. A Thunderstrike Mace. Heavy Armor. Emperor's Jewel. King of Skulls. Oh boy, that must be our next boss. Another shop. And Fire in the Deep, which looks like another encounter card. And that's it, guys. That is Hand of Fate. It is amazing. I get so sucked into this world. Whenever, you, every once in a while, you and the dealer will have kind of a little one-on-one -on -one conversation, he'll tell you kind of about what he's doing, but not enough. He's very secretive, and I really want to know. So every time you beat three bosses, you win that little trinket that's down there. So, so far, I've won his cup and his scepter. But I really want to know more about this world. Like, am I dead? Am I reliving past memories? Or am I still alive? And he's like, you need to play this game, but why do you continue? It's like, no one has ever beaten me. Why are you even trying? So I need to make it through to the end. Definitely recommend it. Thanks for joining me, guys. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know and we'll stream a couple of hands. You guys can help me out. But until then, have a great one, guys. Good night, Jelly Beans. Good night. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see a few more things, please hit the subscribe button up here to join in the live streams every Monday at 1.30. And if you want to see something a little bit different, click on my own personal hand of fate.